In this video I will show how to make shadow studies in a plan view like this one. So what we see here is actually how the shadows and sun is entering the space without losing the other geometry that creates the shadows as we can see if I just stop it at some point here. For example here we can actually see this model is cut in the height of 850 millimeters but if we are done with the section box then there would have been sun here and wouldn't have been any shadows but with this method I will go to show in this video it's actually possible to study how the direct sunlight is entering the space to create these kind of shadow studies in a plan view without losing the geometry above this section we could go to a plan view activate on the view the camera and before we place the camera we should click off the perspective because we don't want to make a perspective in this case the other stuff is not that important in this case then it's just about placing the camera in the first place then this is the window of this new perspective view or 3D view then we click on the view cube to get the top view and then we edit the size or what we see in this view and if we want to have north up we can click on the arrow keys here second to lock this orientation we go to the icon down here that is called unlocked 3D views and say save this orientation and lock it and then I just hide stuff I don't want to see and turn on stuff I want to see in this specific view in this case the context is a mass object so I need to turn that on and then we can edit the, the boundary so it's only around the building we want to look at could take some of the nearby context within this view but we still don't cut in our building so we need to go to the properties in the bottom change the target elevation and the eye elevation for example in this case it could be zero that's related to the elevation in the model so zero is approximately the same as the ground level in this case in the eye level I want to set this to 850 that is the level typical measure daylight factor within or other kind of daylight matrix and then apply and then we cut in our building here and then I turn on the shadows and click on the sun settings specifying the day I want to look at it could be for example a summer day single day in the summertime here and press OK and go down to the sun path icon again and click this on preview solar study and then this menu pops up and when we play on the play button it will simulate the shadows and see how much of the space we actually get direct sun in then I could save this view so I know what kind of view it is at the moment it's just called view 4 I will rename this one to I will call it plan view summer shadows and level zero that means that it's the lowest floor in this building and then I could duplicate it with detailing it should be necessary but just in case rename this one to be a plan view it's not a real plan view but it looks like a plan view and then make this view for level one instead and then change the eye elevation to a height that is 850 above floor level in this case is something like this again I could turn on the shadows they are already on because I duplicated a view and the settings should be the same it should be the summer same settings as the other one and last I could preview solar study and run the sun and shadow patterns through the day to see how does the light and shadows for this specific level so this is a brilliant way of looking into sun and shadows for different floors and not only in a perspective views